no, let's say cap captive born Lapras. Sounds better. In case you didn't catch a water type and you didn't take Blastoise. And you didn't pick in case you didn't take Blastoise, find a water type in the field, or manage to learn that there are rods, or buy a magic card from that guy and level up to a Gyarados, they literally give you a Lapras with which to serve. So there is no reason you should not have a water type. Hello and welcome back to Ruth Kaiser's playthrough of Blue Version. We just picked up a Lapras from this fine fellow here after defeating our long-term rival Dix. Now, we are on our way to defeat uh, there it is, the head boss himself. I was gonna say it doesn't look quite like ah. It doesn't look quite like Giovanni, but that's because he's right there. Well, maybe less so because Jovin got knocked out. But let me use a little strategy I learned from Pal not too long ago. Question of the day, did you know you could use a revive to awaken a fainted Pokemon? Because I certainly didn't. And with that, the time has come. Over here. Time to get a chance to come in. Once I opened the door, he just ran up on me. Eating with a Nidorino. Yeah, we'll get we'll get Hector and Trench and see if he has a way to deal with this first. Ooh, the guard spec on the switch. Not a single shred of fear in Giovanni's eyes. Focus energy all you want. This dick is gonna take you down. Nidorino's already taken out, but no one was worried about a Nidorino. It's the evolution that's got my skin crawling. But for now, we're switching to Kangaskhan. Guess he just always goes with the guard spec when it's his when it's Pokemon's first turn. Oh, the normal type fight. I'm not sure if I should risk this, honestly. Well, it paid off in my favor. Glad he blows it out. And a free crit I didn't even deserve. Oh, Rival. He's in the decline of his team. I could just keep digging at him, honestly. If it ain't broke, right? Well. Let's see if Mikey can get a free hit off of this thing. That's right, unnecessary crit. Got 1,069 EXP. Hey, it's finally learning to recover. Which means you no longer get try attack. Oh, this was the thing I was worried about. Oh no. What can be done? He got his level. Oh, I forgot I get a clean switch every time. I wish. I wish I was smart enough to remember that. I'm, I'm dedicated to the bad plan of hoping it got frozen. Who was talking about this being a bad plan? I don't know who, this is an amazing plan. My level 27 starfish taking down a level 40 Nido Queen. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what, that's what you like to see. You don't want to see yourself losing to a child, that's what you don't want to see. You also don't want to see yourself losing to Freeze Hex. Later, is this woman standing in front of a portrait of Godzilla? Hey, Hector, can we dig out of here? Oh, you bet we can. Now that that has been knocked out of the park, we have unlimited access to Saffron City. Notice all the rooms from before are no longer here. Just regular schmoes like this guy. So all the members of Saffron City enjoy their newfound freedoms, having their Pokemon out and all that. We will turn our attention back to our gym challenge. Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. That's not a very creative title, but you know, whatever. I'm sure you're wondering, 
how do you beat psychic Pokemon? Well, much like the gym guy tells you, uh, there is no weakness for Pokemon. The game would tell you bug, although you can't really, like, you know, do, do that. How many bug moves are there? One? Twin Needle, I think, is the only bug move? He looks exactly like Bill. Maybe not exactly, but like, he looks very reminiscent of Bill. So if you know how this, how this gym works, uh, you're a smarter person than I, because I don't really get these gyms, these teleport tile gyms. Like, I know it works the exact same as the Silphco building, which I think is neat, honestly. Weird, because they should not be connected, but they're in the same city, so... Like, why not, honestly? Who does it hurt to put the Silphco thing in this place? Nobody, that's who. At a certain point, the level doesn't even matter. Good, feeling great. How many times do I teach you this lesson, slow bro? That chunk won't get you anywhere now. Oh, and before I forget... Let's go our heavy hitter. Now we can get down to business, young miss. Psychic Princess herself, Sabrina, with her Jesse haircut and her whip. It's a little weird. But so be it. Claiming to be a psychic princess. I have my doubts. I did not even look at the PP for strength. But it's okay. Jobin won't be doing much in this fight. Take the pivot, just in case it takes a psychic to the face. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was expecting. That, that is why Soaiya was here, by the way. Now the fight is afoot. Okay, the fight is looking south. Can you salvage this mess? It's, a, it's a lower level, so I feel better. I bet this whole battle with just Hay and Hector. This thing's throwing up light screens. Any one of those fights I see. I'm much better equipped to win one of those fights than you are, Mr. Mime. Hey, a Venomoth. That's not a psychic type. I'm gonna Thunder Wave you just in case, because I'm very scared. going to be a little less careless and heal Hay before switching out. Because I don't think the Venomoth's gonna do anything. Yet. It's I'm gonna switch back to Hector. Kill with rocks. And bam, bam boom, that should be it. Oh, that's not it. Apparently it has more. Oh, that's not good. That's actually about as bad as it got a paralysis off right before it died. Oh, oh no. You have an Alakazam too. If we can get the... Yeah, that, that's exactly what I thought happened. If we can get the dig off and it does enough damage, even though it just threw up a reflect. And spam sand attack? No, never, never back down from your beliefs. Even when it's throwing psi waves at you and popping off extra reflects. We will persevere. Side Beam did a lot more damage this time. Can a quick attack end it? He has way too much health, yeah, for a single quick attack. Things are looking pretty bad, all things considered. It's all on Mikey's shoulders again. If it is able to take out this thing somehow, some way, we will be in serious business. But it doesn't look possible. 